What's up everybody, Baird here with Spec of Tech. Welcome to the channel. So not that long ago, I got an Emotiva RMC1L and I got it all set up in my rack and I wanted to see what it sounded like before running die racks. You know, I set my distances, set my levels. And you know what, the thing does sound really good, but then of course I wanted to try uh, Dirac. So just like many of you probably have done, you went to YouTube and you pulled up the how to run uh, Dirac uh, directly from Emotiva. They made their own video, which is very handy. And one of the first things that they want you to do after you get everything set up, of course, is to calibrate the mic gain. So uh, the problem that I ran into is when I was trying to calibrate the mic gain is I could turn the gain all the way to the max and I wouldn't get my noise floor. So what would happen is if I spoke or if I played uh, the pink noise on one of the speakers is it would hit a peak and then it would just drop right back down to nothing. And then if I'd play the pink noise on say another speaker or I'd speak, it would hit a peak and it would drop right down to nothing. So what you want though, is you want that to be a consistent because they want you to bring it up to negative 40 dB for the noise floor of the room. And I just couldn't do that. And I didn't know why at first. So it's kind of frustrating to, I uh, have to try and figure this out on your own, but it isn't a problem with Emotiva and it isn't a problem with Dirac. It's actually a problem with your PC. And technically it's not even a problem. It's actually an enhancement that they have. I believe it's some sort of uh, background noise eliminator for microphones. So we're gonna hop over to my computer and I'm gonna show you guys how to turn that off. It's gonna be a really quick video today, but I did wanna make this just to help you guys out because it's gonna save you a big headache if you do get an Emotiva processor and you run into the same problem that I was running into. I really wish that I had known this before starting Dirac so I didn't have to waste a whole lot of time, but either way, I did figure it out. So I wanna make sure that you guys know about it as well. All right, so the first thing you wanna do when you're on your PC is come over here and right click on your little uh, audio icon here. So just right click it, and then you wanna left click on sound settings. And once you're in sound settings, you're gonna see your microphones listed here. So in my case, I have the built-in microphones for my laptop. So when you're connected to uh, your Emotiva, or sorry, when you're connected to Dirac, you're gonna see your USB microphone. So you wanna look for that microphone. But in this case, just for demonstration's sake, I'm gonna click on my microphone array. And once you're in there, you're gonna see all your settings for that particular microphone. And the one that you want to focus on here is the audio enhancements. So if you go over to the right, you can see that device default effects are turned on, which I believe uh, does try to eliminate background noise. So any constant noise, it does try to eliminate that. So it isn't gonna work very well when you're trying to run um, calibration using pink noise. So you just left click that and turn that off. Once you've turned that off, you should have eliminated the problem of not being able to calibrate your microphone. And when you're playing pink noise, you should see the sound continue uh, versus just hitting a peak and then dropping down to nothing. All right, guys, like I said, it was gonna be a short video. That is it. Uh, consider subscribing, tick the bell icon if you do, and please take just one short second to hit that like button. Please consider uh, supporting the channel as well. I've dropped my Patreon link down in the description. You can also hit the uh, join or the thanks button below this video. Remember to enjoy your systems. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.